My name's John Beer, and for the past 25 years I've been writing about fishing for wild brown trout. For 30 years I've lived here on the banks of the River Charwell in Oxfordshire, and when I came here I, I had a dream of living right next to a, a trout stream. Well, it hasn't happened. We've had trout from time to time, because I've put them in, but they've, they've gone. But I, I, I haven't lost hope yet. And in the absence of the trout ferry, I have got three wise men from the Wild Trout Trust to come and help me. Well, Tim, you said I needed gravel. I have got gravel. You I have just, indeed. And why do I need gravel? Well, it's the basic building block of trout habitat. It's the stuff that they spawn in. Um, the, the larger bits are the ones that the little fish hide under. And it um, contains a lot of food. So what have you actually done here? What we've done is we've fixed um, logs and, and brushwood like this against the bank, uh, put stakes in to hold them there and wired over the top and, and just pinned them against the, the base of the bank. It's ironic that this artificial ponding of the lively river dove, with the loss of much valuable spawning, was done to please the anglers. From those tumbling upland waters of the manifold and dove, Tim sent me south to a river in a very different landscape with different challenges. I've been sent down here to the River Meehan by Tim. Why am I stood here with this large woody thing beside me? Well, that's a faggot bundle, John, and uh, today we're going to do some work in the river to uh, repair some of these uh, badly damaged banks on this little Hampshire chalk stream. Work? Work. Put that right down in the water, in the water on the bottom right. when I'm out the way. And you'll need two hands. Hold, hold that, hold that. Yeah. That's it. Yep. You've done a ground job there, yeah. Andy. All done. Well, we are in another beautiful spot. I have just left the Mian Valley, a lovely, lovely spot, in mid-November, and now I'm standing here on the warmest day of the year in a woolly scarf and a woolly hat. <laughs> Why are we doing that? So what, what are the, the, the problems of this river, then? Well, I can show you what some of the problems were, John. Okay. Uh, we've got a little gizmo here, a little magnetic gizmo that... Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, magnetic the catch. Right. Yes. So if I plunge this into the gravel here on the riverbed... <laughs> the riverbed sticks to it. It's actually magnetic. You've got a magnetic yeah. riverbed. One of the things that Paul does to try and get the community interested in the river that's just down the bottom there somewhere is the mayfly in the classroom. So um, you've emptied that, that net into this white tray. Yeah, yeah. And we've got all sort of little living gizmos here. We've got a we? huge mix of things, yeah. There's stoneflies, there's caddis, there's some, some mayfly as well. And the kids really like this bit, actually, because they get to kind of, like this to sort of suck some of them up and okay. then sort of put them into the vessels that they've made as part of a school project Oh, see, well. so he shoots off down here. You might be able to have a bypass channel that, that's quite a natural form channel that goes around it. Um, or in this case, what's actually happened, we can have a look, ah. is uh, they've engineered a, a sort of a prefabricated fish pass channel. It's uh, a precast uh, aluminium, uh, almost like trunking that you have electrical cables in. Yeah. And then there's a series of baffles that just slow the water down, so it's not, it's not rushing down like a chute. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So it's a little bit of baffled flow. Um, the lower downstream end of it is obviously submerged, so the fish can swim up into that part and then they can make their way through. And this is the yes. conduit, if you like, um, through... That's the front door, pass. isn't it? That's right. <laughs> this is the front door to the fish pass, or the back door if you're coming up it. Quite right. That sounds to be uh, pretty well conclusive. I've either got to love fishing for roach and chub and perch, which I do, or I've got to keep travelling after my wild brown trout. <laughs>